Roberta Valentina Zarkova. Welcome to The Basis Project live. And it's really good to see you. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Professor Valentina Zarkova, welcome to The Basis Project live. And it's uh, for the record, it's the 25th of March, 2025. Uh, do you want to stop sharing? Yes, I will stop good. sharing. This is absolutely, I'm going to put myself up so you can see that. Um, okay. What do you feel uh, with the political situation? Um, now, there are changes in that, but where do you feel uh, is your voice being heard by the right people? Yes, I'm part of the Clintel group. I went to the meeting in um, Prague where I reported this, and many people in the government, Czech government representative, was there on my talk, and they were very supportive, they understood that, because I'm giving them examples straight from, from the life. And uh, whatever they say, global warming, but, but if it is snowing and minus uh, 11 in Texas, you can call it global warming. <laughs> now, so, now, there was some kind of a, a governmental uh, advisory committee during the week or, or possibly last week, and the, the founder of Greenpeace was there dismissing the whole CO2 thing um okay. were you across that or i i didn't i wasn't able to get fully acquainted with that but it seems that parliament is holding committees on this i have yes i have links people contacting me and then interfering with mps and others especially again i gave a list to them of mps so they are operating with my data my talks and my um, presentation on youtube and they're trying to deliver the reality. So global warming is good, but it is for another 500 years. And for our generation, and especially for this government next five years, when the solar activity is dropping very dramatically, it will be main problem actually to feed and heat the nation. This is the, the main, they, they need to think about it. Um, I, I'm, I have to say that the, the local politics and the way the things are going with our governmental decisions isn't encouraging on that level. Yeah, yeah, I agree. When I listened to Miliban, I thought he will put in stone probably his idiotic ideas. So what can I say? Um, the nature will come and prove them wrong. So this is it. And the, many people will suffer if they don't listen. But I delivered many talks in Glasgow, in Edinburgh, in um, Leicester, and the London, so people interested to know the facts, and uh, especially when when we done reported our result in London, two thousand fifteen, it was a huge wave of um, interviews, and for until two eighteen, we were the main thing which appear when you put Google. But then, anthropogenic global warming people probably paid Google to move us to the second or third screen and put themselves forward. But doesn't matter, they move us. The nature doesn't move because the cold comes straight on us in every part of the planet. And I'm popular, people send me emails showing it was snow. Recently I got snow in New Zealand, which they got to the autumn. Beginning of autumn, the end of summer, beginning, they had very cold weather and snow in New Zealand in the middle latitude there. there. So definitely, People keep informing, and I I wouldn't probably gather this result myself, but because I made so many public appearances, people watch me. You can watch an interview also on um, Tom Nelson uh, podcast, number interview to 78. Within a month, it collected 139 views, 39,000 views. So definitely people understanding that what I'm saying, this is what they see and contradicts to what anthropogenic global woman people saying. And again, if we have this ice age, which I'm sure we do, it proves undoubtedly that only temperature variations we have on Earth are introduced by the sun because we don't reduce CO2, it is still there. We don't become further from the sun because it's still already close to us because it caused global warming. So either their model or my suggestion, it is not changing. But if the temperature is dropping, it means the sun sending us less radiation. 
So it doesn't matter how sun is closed. You can have your boiler sitting, you know, in embrace with you. But if it is not switched on, you wouldn't feel any heat. So this is the thing. Well, there's a huge, the huge push for solar, uh, for solar power. Many of these solar farms, I noticed, do not have high voltage transformers, so they can contribute back to the, the grid. So I suspect that they are merely there for show. And secondly, um, the contracts for for wind farms, uh, people doesn't don't want to they don't want to have another contract, and they're failing. Oh yeah, wind farms is uh, I would say um, it's a scam because uh, first of all it is not constantly producing um, electricity, and when it is frosty, normally it is no wind, so or it, very strong wind wind farms are not working, and their lifetime is only twenty years. By that time, the blades you need you cannot even dismiss them there will be cemeteries of blood lates which are not degradable and they not reoccupate they do not repay the money to do these blades you need to produce a lot of fossil fuel production what they spend on fossil fuel on um, these windmills do, does not occupy over the lifetime of windmills so it was a huge disaster but moreover when we need electricity, we need after 4 p.m. when everyone is at home and when there's no wind or solar panels, no sun. So we need electricity in the evening. And uh, none of these uh, solar batteries or uh, windmills working in the evening. So it doesn't well, matter. I mean, the solar cells, a lot of them failed in Wales, but um, that's a bit of a joke, failed in Wales. But like, like Texas, a lot of them smashed with the, with the winds. Uh, are you familiar with the, the uh, volcanic eruption in, south, in the southern hemisphere, uh, the Tonga eruption? Yes, and another yes, major uh, uh, a volcanic it. eruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this directly caused by the issues that you've just described? The, we published paper this year that uh, actually the orbital motion caused the uh, eruption volcanic eruption especially underwater volcanic eruption which heat ocean from beneath and this is why 25 um, percent of ocean heating come from beneath with this orbital motion of the sun and this is why we have increase of the temperature so definitely volcanic eruptions are significant players in the whole system air um, ocean air and temperature it's true and the movement of the magnetic poles, uh, I gather that the official figures on that have been suppressed, but they seem to be very substantially off from north, only maybe 100 degrees between north and south, uh, north pole heading towards Siberia, the south pole heading towards Australia. Uh, yeah, it is. This, I, as I understand, it means that we're getting a, a, a lot less protection from the Earth's magnetic field at a time when we're getting more radiation. Well, it is true. Yeah. And this tells us that not a bit depends on us. We need, we live in the system which acts for itself as planetary system. And they know, and the poles, they use normally change the directions like in any dynamo. Planetary dynamo also have swapping of the poles every 6,000 years. And there is a theory that we are lucky, not only we have this ground solar minimum, we also have swap of poles in the next 10, 20 years. So maybe it's true. What cataclysm will be on Earth? I don't know. I need to look people from the terrestrial physics planetary physics, um, they're trying to in get me involved and do some calculation, Jenny Becker effect and others. I still didn't have time. I, I'm finishing my monograph on high energy particles. Hopefully in a month, when I free it and submit to the editors, I'll look at something. But definitely we have a big player set um, in action and these are not um, humans for sure. It is a uh, solar magnetic field it is uh, earth magnetic field and earth magma inside it is it is very important where do you think i mean you're up there in sunny uh, the north of england there north umbria uh, uh, 
would you be planning to move? And if so, where would you feel you'd best go and move to? No, oh, yeah, I move once from one country to another. Uh, it is very big um, shock. It is not easier. It, here, you know where it is. I thought I would move to uh, maybe Spain, or but uh, when you come to Spain, they're so different. You need to move to get used to this life, and not in the time when the cataclysm. So maybe I'll start eating less. And just <laughs> I, I will put a stove into my house. I have woods next to me. I live close to the forest, so I will do f food and I start growing some food in my garden, for example. So at the moment, well, I, 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 I've talked to, I've talked to some other people, and and they they feel that one of the solutions is simply to change the species of of crops. I mean, they grow they grow a lot of uh, grain and stuff in Norway and and the northern climes. So if they use a different species of yeah. of of agriculture, do you think that would help? I mean, farming's under a huge amount of attack at the moment as well by the government. Yes, yeah, and this is unexcusable because the now we need our own farmers because we might not have this luxury of transportation. The the the, the sea, the North Sea, can be frozen. The roads can be snow wet and people cannot move. All these uh, railway stations, which are now electrical, will not be run because not enough electricity. Uh, in the 1947, they had steam engines. They put coil and it was running. What they put now, well, some of the trains are diesel, but not m many of them. So this is why you need to have a little bit your B plan for your own country. And our farmers are our B plan. And we have to cherish them and carry them in our arms, thanking them they know how to feed the nation. What about Miliband? I mean, you mentioned his name. I mean, have you had any impact with him uh, in his no, department? No, no, I can't speak uh, with Miliband. Well... No, I Valentina. have people who, who are speaking with them and uh, I have people in House of Lords who are carrying forward my ideas, so... Um, I have people. I, know, I, I hope at some stage I'm happy to offer them uh, the. Uh, hello. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, I. Uh, I don't remember where I put you. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, I'm happy to offer them the talk in the Westminster to explain everything if they're willing to listen. Now, when the Trump came to. United States with those his negatives. I'm not big supporter of him, but the positive thing that at least he will be thinking about energy resources and food for for the nation, and probably other nations will follow him. Now, Argentina changed the plea, and they started uh, thinking about own energy resources and uh, not blaming fossil fuel. And the same Norway, they disconnected um, Norway electric greed from uh, from the Europe not to be dependent on them. They can supply everything energy for them. So these are things people start waking up, understanding the reality. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I've, I have a lot of friends in Norway. I, lo I love the place a, a lot. Uh, they blame the prices of electricity for them going up because of the connector to Britain. Mm, yeah, fine, kind of. But that's another topic. Yeah, but again, do you remember that this huge, um, they put batteries and they put uh, battery farms and there's farms c keeping the um, like energy storages. These farms can feed only two hours. So they're not, they're not usable for two hours. The night is not two hours. The night is normally in winter, 10 hours you need this one. And that, it means that you need constant electricity. You need probably uncover the coal mines and start reproducing the coal stations. Well, I, I gather that they're celebrating blowing up coal-fired power stations in the UK. Yeah, but they now they need new. to come back because otherwise we will not have enough energy. Even when, remember, we had cold snatch um, beginning of January? It was one week or 10 days. We were that close to actually cut off electricity because not enough electricity for the power plants and the other 
destructions because uh, the old uh, the stations are designed that people during the day are working in the offices so there's no electricity consumed by private uh, sector but if it is snow and cold people will be sitting at home and consuming electricity and there's no enough electricity to supply the industry and the people and they're this forcing people to uh, stop having stoves and penalties and things like that um, we have, I think, bad people in charge, and we have a problem there. Well, yeah, we have a problem. Well, it was it's good to see you, Valentina, uh, and it's good to see you smile, even though your message is very serious. And mm -hmm. may you be applauded f for your efforts. And yeah, I'm I, trying. I'm a huge fan of your work, and it's it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm trying to raise awareness to doesn't come as complete unexpected so people do understand what is going on and um, i'm not paid by any companies it's just my pure research i got it absolutely out of the blue as a part of curiosity because my main <laughs> subject of research is high energy particles <laughs> so anyway thank you well thank you very much and uh, bless you and uh, we'll we'll call that a day on this uh, rare live that we've we've done. I haven't been done a live from here for. Uh, I, I, we had a little bit of a problem where two computers were sharing with each other. That's why we couldn't see each other. When you publish, can you give me the link? I want to publish on my website. Yes, I'll get this edited, and we've done the live, and I'll certainly be doing the edit, and uh, okay, okay. and that'll Cheers. be that'll be marvelous. Okay, and, okay. And bless you. Cheers. And bye bye. So, uh, cheerio. Bye.